everyone. I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to a whole new year of West Coast Swing Dancing. So it's 2022, and we are starting our 2022 Dance Resolution Series. This is where we share with you our favorite drills that we're really loving to incorporate into our partner dance, danced alone so that we can get better and better at our dancing in 2022. So we're going to show you one of Matt's favorite drills today, and we're going to talk about how you can incorporate this weight transfer drill into your dancing. Now, Matt. So the goal of our weight transfer drill is to practice transferring our weight all the way from foot to foot. I will walk you through the drill, and then Desiree is going to talk to you more about why this is important. So to start up, we're going to take our feet about shoulder width apart. Then, if you're wearing something with a line down the middle, call it a jacket, maybe it's a shirt with buttons, you're going to think about trying to take whatever it is on that center line all the way over to one side or the other. It doesn't matter which way you go. Now the way you know that you're all the way over to that side is you can pick up and wiggle around your other foot. It's good to check this at least the first few times you do the drill. Then I'm going to take the center line of my body over to the other side and wiggle that free foot. There's a bunch of different variations on this drill you could do to play with the timing of the weight transfer. For today's exercise, we're just focused on getting your weight all the way over one foot and then the other, feeling what it feels like to be completely over one foot and the next. So why does this matter? There are three key reasons why this matters. One is balance is really important in West Coast Swing. We do so many dynamic moves. We dance to so many different types of songs that it's really important that we have our own weight at all times leaders and followers. And for that reason, we need to be able to know how to control and get our weight from place to place. Another thing, everyone, is that this is West Coast Swing Dance. And in case you didn't know that, part of the dynamic of our dancing is swinging or moving our weight from one side of our body to the other. So it is really important that as we advance our level of dancing, we incorporate this ability to actually swing our movement from side to side in our bodies. And the third thing is connection to our partner. Now, if we're dancing West Coast Swing and we dance split weight with our weight evenly distributed uh, between both sides of our bodies, we can't really know or feel what our leader or follower is doing with their eyes closed without simply looking at their feet. Instead, if we really incorporate complete weight transfer, my leader can feel which side of my body I am on at all times and vice versa. So it's very important for communication to know how to do a controlled, complete rate of weight transfer. So now you might be asking, on which counts do you do this? Well, you're gonna do this on each of your whole beat steps, which for your six count pattern is one, two, four, and six. And for your eight count pattern is one, two, four, five, six, and eight. Yeah, and let's demonstrate that. Again, this is a solo drill, so do the weight transfer alone and then incorporate this weight transfer into your basics also on your own. We're gonna start with the left side pass. We're gonna do one, shift the weight, two, shift the weight, three and four, shifting the weight, five and six, shifting the weight, again, so that we can pick up that foot that our weight is not standing on. Now we're gonna try a push break. One, shift, two, shift, three and four, shift, five and six, shift. Now let's go for an eight count, everyone. Let's go for a whip. That's one, shift, two, shift, three and four, shift, Five, shift again, six, shift, then seven and eight. Shake out those ankles so you know that your weight transfer has been completed. What you may have noticed with how Desiree was counting this is that just because we're getting our weight completely over one foot does not mean that we're getting our weight immediately over that foot. We can still have graduality to this movement. We just want our end point to be completely over one leg or the other. So practice this drill on your own, standing in place to different tempos, different types of mu music. Practice this uh, 
drill as well, moving through each of your patterns, noting on the whole beats how you shift your weight gradually but completely, and have fun increasing your quality of movement and your connection out on the dance floor. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store linked in the description. Bye!